Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Well, it's not really a tutorial. I just want to share my thoughts on how to polish FPS games, specifically the character movement and also some other things. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So let's talk about the obvious one is the weapon sway when the player move the camera left and right or panning actually left and right. Also walking animation and sprinting animation so right let's talk about talk a little bit about principle i think i don't really like an excessive use of like screen sway or screen shake or whatnot so i try to keep everything minimum because i'm actually like sensitive towards uh, motion sickness and maybe if some fps game uh enable like a setting for that it would be nice but yeah again it's all i think preference preference uh, Prefer preferential oh my god english is hard yeah uh preferential so is that even a word i think it's all it depends on your preference and so yeah i think that's a better wording and yeah so let's just take a look at how it works inside the engine uh character all right here we go so basically it's just in character or it's a model animation it's not it's not even a model animation, it's just the model like moving in the 3D space uh, and rotating in 3D space. It's not really like a character animation, that's what I'm trying to say. So, of course, I have every single animation for every single action. And also, I already assigned it or already created a node tree for that. And this is the structure. I put swaying at the end and also in the add uh, node here to add more motion to the shooting. So basically it's it will override, well not override, but add this pose to whatever you are doing. So if you are sprinting, you actually will add the swaying motion also when you are moving the camera and goes the same for the shooting animation, so on and so forth, right? And so yeah, I think there is not much to discuss about that. I, um, I guess if you are having a character model, then it will have a different approach. So maybe it's not going to be able to be done inside the game engine or inside the engine. And the next part is gun clipping. So gun clipping basically is, so for example, when you just imported some weapon, you haven't changed any settings and then you encounter this problem where the gun is like, sticking through or pushing through a mesh that it shouldn't have so there are some solution to that and the easiest one i think is just set the uh, scale of the gun as small as needed small as needed yeah i guess C and also keep the um the gun inside the collision shape right so that's like the principle behind it as long as it's shown correctly on the camera, I don't think it matters like how big is the gun. Unless you are, again, if you are using a uh, character model, then you need a different approach. But this one is the simplest one. I'm not going to talk about the, mo the more complicated one because it's too complicated. And the last one, someone actually asked on my older video talking or asking about how do I make the enemy flash when I hit them. And so this is the answer. So here's the answer. The answer is just I add an overlay material, which is a custom shader, where the shader job is the shader's job is just to add uh, or tint the whole model, basically. And yeah. And I think it's only available in Godot 4.0 because I don't really remember uh, Godot 3.x has this feature. So yeah, I also talk about this in my other video, which is Polishing Platformer. And you can tag on that if you actually want to uh, learn how to polish 2D game. And this one, again, this is just a basic flash animation going from red to white and then go back to red and then fade it out. And the difference is the difference between this one and the 2D one is that I don't really add any squash and stretch to the model because I don't know, I think it's just inappropriate when you have like this kind of a solid object and it's just like squashing, you know, it doesn't really feel like 
as if it is hard things. It's hard things, like solid things, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think you need to use it depending on the purpose. Or, yeah, it's, again. And so, basically that. I mean, it's pretty short, right? So, yeah. What do you think about this? What, what polish do you add to your game, to your FPS game, to be specific? Share down in the comment below. And also, what kind of things do you want to do? You want me to cover in the future? And oh, one more, one last thing: if you want to support the channel, you can go to coffee.com/slash littlestrikerid, where you can buy some resource for your game. So it's uh, can use it for educational purposes, or if also if you want to use it in your prototype, and you can go there, and you can also yeah, by, by buying that you actually supporting the channel. All right, I ramble too much. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning anyway. So, hey, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.